So how do we grow the best trees in Oregon? Well, I'd say the best way to grow the best trees in Oregon is to have a good, reliable seed source. My name's Cassara Nichols. I manage the J.E. Schroeder Seed Orchard for the Oregon Department of Forestry, and we were established here in St. Paul in 1973. The goal of the seed orchard is to reforest Oregon. With a need for up to about 40 million seedlings a year, the Schroeder Seed Orchard provides a reliable source of genetically improved seed for landowners in the Pacific Northwest, seed that can be adaptable to climate change, pests, and diseases. Here at Schroeder, we plant trees just like a tree in the forest, only it's a little different here because our seedlings need a little bit more care. So for the first three to five years, we're taking special care to water, fertilize, even specially prune these trees. And about six to seven years, we can start stressing the trees so that they can even start producing cones at that age. Once a tree is able to produce cones, we will harvest those cones, putting those cones in bushels, and then we store the bushels in our cone shed so that they can be racked in ways to keep them dry and out of the elements. We send them off to be processed. The processing involves uh, tumbling, drying, and extracting those seeds from cones and then packaging them. Once those cones are all processed, we receive them, keep them separate, organized and cataloged, and store them here at the orchard in our seed bank freezer to be distributed and then sold to small family forest land owners or the general public as they, as they need it. Genetic research and breeding are the key behind superior seed stock. This process starts uh, in the wild, yes, selecting the best and the biggest or the trees that may have a natural tolerance or a natural ability to withstand things like changes in climate or pests or diseases that maybe have impacted the same trees in the same area, but for some reason this one's doing well and surviving. Knowing that that tree has this natural ability gives us the chance to sort of reproduce that and replicate it. And when we're talking about a plant that lives for 60, 70, hundreds of years, this is very long-term research, but also very important. So the Schroeder Seed Orchard is also home to the Oregon Seed Bank. Uh, the Oregon Seed Bank has the unique ability to receive a portion of every harvest um, to then make that seed available to small family forest land owners as well as the cooperators that invest in each one of these orchards here. Up to 6% of every orchard harvested gets set aside specifically for selling to family forest land owners. We have more than just Douglas fir. We have about 13 different varieties of seed and that varies from year to year, uh, but we can offer a variety of seed for various landowner objectives. Well, there's always gonna be a need for reforestation. We need to understand that trees need to adapt to climate, diseases, pests. Wild seed may or may not be able to adapt quickly enough. Our hope here at Schroeder is that we can continue to provide a reliable seed source that can help keep Oregon's forests thriving.